Alright, what's going on guys? I'm bringing you a 39 bomb I had and some Dom. This is some ace gameplay. Pretty much any time I talk about in competitive in this game, it's probably going to be an ace gameplay in the background. To be honest, because that's... I don't know, like, that's like the only competitive like gameplay I can have, really, because... Uh, I don't really have a team for this game or anything, I don't really care that much. And there's no league player or anything that I could post, so... Anytime I make a, like a competitive video... I'll just put a game of eights in the background, and uh, this one I dropped 39. I was one off the 40. I was pretty mad. I had 21 kill first side, and then 18 kill second side. But regardless, basically what I want to talk about in this is there has been like so many team changes in the last like two days, two three days at least. Um, it's pretty fucking crazy to be honest. Like it really is pretty crazy. So I want to kind of like go over all of them and also just kind of give you my thoughts on what the really good teams are going to be now and stuff because I think pretty much every single team made a change like I think except for Justice or Just Us Justice I don't know how they want to say their name anyways I think except for them and then like some of the EU teams no everyone else like made some sort of change that was pretty crazy so um first Jcap, alright, well, I think I'll just go in order. Like, so first, Jcap was released from Optic, and they picked up Ricky instead. Now, I think that's actually an improvement. I think Jcap, for one, is more of a Treyarch player. Um, you know, he was a, he was the best player in Black Ops 1, and he was a really good player in Black Ops 2. You know, he didn't play Monarch for 3, and now he is playing Ghost. Um, but I don't, I don't know what his whole situation is going to be there. He kind of got screwed, really, to be honest, in this. Because all the free agents are like pretty much taken up now. Everyone has their set teams. So I don't really know what's going to happen with Jcap. Or where he's going to go. What his whole situation is going to be. Um, well actually. Also anything I say in this video. By the time I upload it. Maybe something else may have happened. So um, if any of this information is like old or something. My bad. But um, I'm recording this as of today. Which would be Wednesday. So anyways. That's the situation with Optic, so they picked up Ricky for Jcap. Um, I would say that's an upgrade. Ricky's really good at search in this game. And I think Optic definitely needs some help in search. Um, well, actually, they need help in everything, to be honest. But I think Ricky should be a good pickup for them. And uh, we'll see how that works out. Now, next was... This was, like, the huge thing. Okay, so... Complexity dropped Clayster and ended up picking up Karma. And... It was really weird because there's a lot of drama behind this. So basically what happened was um, there was some talk about um, Scumpy being picked up instead of Clayster. But Aix went, and went ahead and said that that wasn't really ever going to happen. It was just kind of like a rumor. But there was a little, there was still talk. But he said it, it was never actually going to really happen. And basically what, what, what they said was that they weren't getting along outside of the game. And uh, Clayster pretty much confirmed it after they released him. He said that he actually didn't even like Aix. Um, so, I don't know, that was, that was, like, pretty crazy that they would, so they dropped him, and then Clayster ended up going to TK for Goonjar, who ended up going to Envy. So, literally, all of, like, the top, like, teams right there all made a switch, and then also, I guess, another switch, um, Stainville was dropped, but this happened a little bit earlier, Stainville was dropped for Killa, so pretty much three-fourths of Impact is back. Um, it's basically Impact, but Nameless instead of Karma. So, pretty much, um, there's a lot of new team changes out there, so... I don't really know what's going to be happening, but I'm going to rank these teams kind of, like, based on what I think is going to happen. Oh, also, Unite dropped their entire roster, like, the Unite organization just dropped everyone. And, uh, basically all of Unite went over and became VQ. Except, instead of Ricky, because obviously Ricky went to Optic, they picked up Spacely, who was dropped from FaZe. Um, for the Halo players, so, holy shit, like, like there's a lot of team changes, right, um, so basically, this is how I think it's going to be, so, obviously, the last event, um, Complexity won, and TK got second, and I think Unite or Justice got third and fourth, I don't know, anyways, that's not important, um, I think TK is the number one team right now, just simply on the fact of, they are probably going to have the easiest transition out of any of these teams, um, because if you look at who they dropped and who they picked up, so they dropped Goonjar and they picked up Clayster. Both of them are very strong AR players who play similarly. So I don't think there's going to be too much of a problem for TK to adapt to playing with Clayster. And um, Clayster is definitely better than Goonjar. So 
Um, in my opinion, TK gets better, and I think TK has a real strong possibility of winning this next event. I have them winning this next event. And then let's talk about complexity. So complexity is probably the strongest. Complexity got better. Like, you know, there's very few players out there that I would say, you know, you want to drop Clayster for. But Karma's one of those players for sure. He's he's the best player in Call of Duty Ghosts as well. I'm pretty sure um, after uh, Columbus, when they tallied up the stats or whatever, Karma had the best, like, KD out of everyone at Columbus. So he's pulling the, the best numbers right now. You know, he's obviously the Slayer. And the thing about that is now... Clay is just like a strong AR player. That's like his thing. And Car that's not what Karma does. Karma's very versatile. He, he runs the AR, he runs the sub, he runs everything. So now Complexity lost that. And what Ake said was going to happen is they're all going to switch up their roles. And they need to figure out what they need to be doing now that they have Karma. Because that's going to change a lot of things. So basically just because of that reason, I think that Complexity is not going to be good right away. But I think a couple months, you know, down the road, like towards COD Champs and stuff, I think Complexity is going to be the best team in the game. But I think TK is going to adapt faster to their roster change than Complexity is, and you know that's just simply the way I look at it. Um, but Complexity is looking real strong now that they have Karma. That's for sure. So um, you know, who knows? Maybe they'll adapt real quick right away and be amazing simply based off their you know pure skill. And uh, they, who knows, they may end up winning everything, but I think that TK will just adapt a little bit faster. So then, let's talk about um, Optic. Well, I talked about Optic already. Um, I think they're going to be better with Ricky than they are going to be with J-Cap. Um, simply because it's an Infinity War game. So let's talk about Envy. Um, they picked up Gunjar for Karma. And the way Gunjar left, like, TK, like, all of TK was pretty upset about it, to be honest. Like, they were, they were really upset about that, and... Uh, and Sharp made a video about it, and you can tell in his video, like, he was upset about that. Um, like, he was, like, ripping him up, but he was doing it in, like, a nice way. So, basically, I think, um, Envy's gonna have some adjustments to do, you know, because Karma definitely put that team on his back, so they don't have that slaying power that Karma, that, you know, that Karma brings. But Gunjar, he, he can slay as well, he's a bit of a slayer, so. Um, but, see, he, he's a straight AR player, whereas Karma ran a sub sometimes, so. Um, they're gonna have to mix things up. I'm not sure what they're gonna have to do there. You know, they'll probably have Goon and Proofy running ARs, and then Merc and Rambo running a sub. If I, if I had to assume that's what they'd be doing. Um, you know, they're still gonna be a really strong team, but I think they'll also have a little bit more of a, um, learning curve and, like, adapting to do than, you know, TK. Like, out of all these situations, TK really did get, like, the perfect fit. Um, for their team, for what they lost to what they're receiving, they received like a better AR, you know. But everyone else, like they're they're like dropping submachine gun players for AR players and stuff, so they'll have some adjusting to do. Um, and then we could talk about Curse, you know. Well, basically, Curse Las Vegas is basically Impact with Nameless. So who knows? <laughs> That's you know they can either be amazing or they can be terrible. Um, they're a pretty like streaky team, I guess, if you want to say that. Um, they're all really good players. We just have to see, you know, how they play in this game. You know, they were supposed to be, you know, one of the best teams, but they didn't really end up playing like it. Um, now they have Killa again. I don't know how Killa and Parasite are going to get along. We'll have to see about all that. But, you know, they're a strong team as well. And then we have um, VQ, which is basically Unite, but now it's VQ. And they have Spacely instead of Ricky. So that's a strong team as well, but, you know, they're, they're new as well. You know what I mean? You know, they lost Ricky, who is a real slow player, slow AR player, for Spacely, who's like an OBJ sub type player. So, you know, they'll have some adjusting to do as well. And, uh, I don't know. I, I basically, I gotta put TK as number one simply because they'll have the easiest time getting good fast. Everyone else, I feel like they do have an opportunity to be better, but it's going to take them longer to adjust to, you know, how to play together and stuff. So, just for those reasons alone, I think TK is going to be the best for right now. But, uh, Complexity in the future, if it works out correctly, will be, like, one of the best Call of Duty teams ever, you know, with this roster. Like, just just think about that roster. Karma and Krim on the same team, and then you got Aix and TP. Like, that, that really is a strong roster. So, anyways, that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. It's wrapping up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know all your opinions or whatever. If uh, if I miss something, you can let me know in the comment section below. And other than that, oh, also, Final Boss is coming back. If you if you guys know who Final Boss is, enough said right there. That's going to be pretty cool to watch as well. 
and uh, just want to throw that in there. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not already. Check out all the links in the description, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Follow me there. And uh, yeah, have a good day, guys, and peace out.